easier if you control Barret. So for the first phase of this boss, you want to attack his legs and you want to try to get two of his legs out. And stay away from him as well. He's pretty, uh, pretty potent when you're up close. And then use uh, Barret's limit breaks. Keep everybody topped up on health over 50%. It's pretty, uh, like I said, it's a pretty, pretty crazy fight. So he'll do like a spin attack that he puts fire everywhere for phase one. I believe he will shoot just bullets at you. He has a lock on ability that as long as you hide behind a, uh, a container, you should be good. I'm not sure. So here's his lock on ability. So try to uh, go here. It's either going to be flamethrower or missiles. If it's flamethrower, then the best thing to do is hide behind those. And then he'll shoot missiles at you as well. So just try your best to not take too much damage from it. And that's pretty much it for phase one. So once you kill two of his legs, you'll trigger a little cutscene here. And what he's going to do is summon some stuff that flies around, so you want to use Barret to try to take them down or use Lightning Materia to uh, take them down as well. And he's going to have all the same abilities as he did before. I would save your summon for a little bit later. So with all the stuff up there, they will do like little attacks, like this one right here. It will shoot like pulses at you and I believe it can stun you for a couple seconds as well. And then the boss is going to do all of the normal attacks that he's been doing. And I believe this phase will last until he gets to about 30% health. So once you're done killing the flying things, you want to try to take out his other two legs to stagger him. And keep pumping bullets into him, keep hitting him with lightning attacks, just keep everybody healed. Do what you gotta do to stay alive. And then once you push him over to the third phase, we'll talk about that one shortly. Alright, so we're now entering third phase. So he'll have all the stuff that he had in the second one. I'm not sure if he summons his stuff. But he'll also have artillery weapons on the side, so you want to try to focus them down too. Other things he will do is he'll do this lightning attack that will electrify all the rail tracks. So if, as long as you're not standing on the rail track, so he's doing it right now, you'll be fine. You have a few minutes or a few seconds before he'll detonate them, so you'll see it shortly. So boom, boom, there you go. So you want to try to take out his auxiliary weaponry. And this would be a good time to cast your summon as well. So once you take out his auxiliary weaponry, you want to attack the pilot. Because once you uh, kill the pilot, then a weak spot will open up on the boss. And you'll be able to do lots of damage to it. So once you kill the pilot, the weak spot will open up. And you want to focus all your damage on the weak spot. Because you'll do quite a bit on there. And that's it for the fight. It's pretty challenging, kind of long. But it's a decent fight. 